I am very, very delighted to introduce Professor Till Asgar Bamhauer. I don't know if he's connected. Yes, he is. Good morning, am, Till. Yes. Good morning, Till. Good morning. And uh, a very short uh, uh, biography about Till, who is our leader in the project of Euphorart. Um, since 2013, he taught artistic research and research, research led artistic practice at Bauhaus University, Weimar, University of Applied Arts in Vienna, um, Hildensheim and Osmabruck Universities, Vietnam University of Fine Arts, Hanoi, so it's a very, very spread activity a global activity, we, we could say. His artistic and academic focus is on collective memory and the depiction of violence experience, collaborative artistic strategies, and the inter intercultural understanding of images. So let me introduce and um, give word to Till, Professor Baumsgarten. Thank you very much. Um, I just have to say, um, I don't have a professor's position I, in this project. I'm just um, the, the project leader and content uh, manager. And now I try to, uh, I hope that you see my presentation already. I just try to, um, to go to the screen presentation. Um, yeah, so I was, I, Thank you very much for being invited to talk at this important conference, which is a real highlight of our joint work. I will just try to introduce you the artistic research within the EU for Art Differences project, which I'm, as I already said, so I will just try to rush through it without forcing you into a too um, terrific tour de force. Um, and dear Cecilia, um, dear Costanza, please indicate to me when I only have five minutes left so that I will just manage to um, wrap it up. So, um, well, just a short overview of the project. It is. It consists of the four alliance partners in Dresden, Riga, Rome, and Budapest, and it is funded from 1st of January of last year to 31st of December of next year, so three years. Its focus is artistic research uh, involving questions of R&I, focusing on third cycle models, outreach to the academic field, to society and to economy. And below you also see our brand new website. As a general question in the beginning, why is artistic research so interesting for artists? Um, it's a, in fact, it's a possibility to enrich and to extend the field of artistic practice and to find new ways of Working in the artistic field, um, it is connected to the academic discourse and to interdisciplinary approaches, as well as to community aspects, which makes it relevant in the overall societal discourse. And it tries to make artistic knowledge, which we much too often don't understand as a knowledge or as artistic practice, as a sort of knowledge production, to make that fruitful beyond the studio and the gallery. So, in fact, it is a practice in academia and not mainly within the art market system. And it is an option to reach an academic doctoral degree, for example, in the third cycle. Apart from that, of course, everybody who does artistic research has a lot of personal and research related aspects, which he follows. Now, to change the viewpoint for art academies, artistic research is an exciting possibility to offer more, not only job perspectives for the future of the students, but it's a chance to diversify the field of teaching, artistic practice, and to create international levels of exchange. Um, as well, 
inside the academy as outside, also connecting fine arts to other departments beyond the traditional ones like um, aesthetics and art history. Um, as well, it has a potential to create connections and cooperation outside the artistic and pedagogical field. So to go either to as a form of outreach to society in terms of a third mission um, into the public or to academia and economy. And of course, it's a very important opportunity to offer academic doctoral degrees in the third cycle to fine arts, which as you know, is not possible in every country um, and in every region. So this is also a shift in how artistic practice is perceived in comparison to the scientific and academic field. As well, of course, a practical aspect is that it makes it possible, at least in some countries, uh, that academies get access to science-related fundings for artistic research processes and projects. And in general, on a political level, it's an option to strengthen arts in general in the context of the European research area. So there's also a political level behind that, which we have, which we shouldn't forget. Just to introduce very quickly uh, the project and it was its work packages. The project consists of five different work packages focusing on artistic research from different angles. Of course, we have a project management work package led by my colleague Claudia Reichert here in Dresden, which focuses on creating a framework for the project, managing the project and coordinating the exchange with the European Committee, as well as analyzing the risks and keep, taking care of the project as an pro overall process. To go to the next work package, which is led by our dear colleague Adam Albert from Budapest Academy of Fine Arts. They have, this work package has the task to create fine art labs for artistic research as a sort of R&I labs in the academic field. And below this main headline, we can list that they provide a theoretical methodological framework for the labs. They develop solutions and recommendations on how R&I can be implemented in artistic, uh, in fine arts academies. They are also responsible for setting up pilot at all four universities with a long-term perspective. But at this point, it should already be said that um, of that project are decentralized. So um, the tasks we want and, and have to fulfill also are strongly related to the um, local contexts and to the um, yeah to the net, uh, local networks. Apart from that, um, this work package creates innovative ideas to make academic careers more attractive also for artists and it develops recommendations on intellectual property rules which is also quite important. Um, the next work package which I am the leader of as well is uh, to develop an R&I agenda and to work on the transfer to citizens and society which includes a framework for joint and local research processes as well as quality management, which is a difficult but really important field, as was already mentioned. We also focus on internationalization and mobility of the PhD candidates and of the students joining the program, which also leads to a knowledge transfer within the acad academies, but also towards sciences, society and economy. Work package four, which is led by Franco Ripa Di Meana, the great colleague from Avaroma, who also organized the today's conference, focuses on a creative ecosystem in fine arts and in artistic research. So it explores the tension between cultural production and economic 
exploitation and use it use through webinars and trainings. There are also other courses and trainings that are developed by the partners in Rome. They created a great survey on the third cycle models in artistic research in Europe, together with the colleagues from Budapest. And they work on a so-called virtual atelier, which is a new way to discuss art pedagogy in hybrid formats, not only in presence, but also online and as well. Um, yeah, so um, there are new teaching methodologies and new hybrid tools to be developed by the colleagues from Rome as well, and they have already been developed. The last work package of our colleagues from Riga um, focused on dissemination and sustainability. They raise public awareness. They develop a common communication strategy and communication inside the academies, inside the alliance, and also to the broader public. They disseminate our R&I and they publish the research and innovation results. Just to give you an image which creates maybe an idea of how the academies work together. So every work package is led by a different academy. Every academy is involved in all work packages and a content management team coming from all four academies with one speaker and a project manager is relate, uh, is then referring to the steering committee and to the advisory board. Um, the steering committee are the rectors and chancellors of the academies usually. So the main objectives are obviously to focus on the third cycle in fine arts in the four partner academies and to discuss potentials of artistic practice as research and knowledge and to produce insight. It raises our academy's research profiles, which is quite important for fine arts academies because research profiles, usually there are not too um, visible in comparison to scientific institutions. And we, uh, of course, want to boost opportunities for artistic and research collaborations um, in our alliance and apart from that. This all leads to a promotion of culture of research, of artistic research, um, a cooperation with the departments of our alliance partners, and of course, also to create peer groups, twinning groups, and strengthen collaboration in R&I centers as fine arts and research labs or schools, as already mentioned, and it, of course, executes outreach to society and empowers artists, of course, to make their artistic practice relevant and visible in society. Um, as I already said, the four academies have very different contexts and backgrounds, so the lab of each partner university, the lab for artistic research, is the place where artistic research takes place within the project and it uh, allows every academy to develop their own profile for artistic research. If this profile does not already exist, it also allows the students to be in exchange between the different academies and to find colleagues and um, teachers that are connected to their research questions so that a broader network of discourse can be created. And of course, um, this all is discussed in joint meetings, workshops and projects in order to explore the whole variety of possibilities in art artistic research. And the starting point, as you may know, is that two of the partner universities already have doctoral programs with a focus on artistic research, whereas two other partners had different or no structures for the third cycle at the beginning of the project. So let's have a glimpse into that quickly. The partner university at Budapest has a doctoral school since 2002. Its current dean, Kichini Balash, is with that is offered is a doctor of liberal arts. The program is quite open to, to different artistic approaches and also to applied approaches 
as stage and costume design and restoration with a 10 semester cu curriculum of which the last semesters mostly focus on uh, writing the thesis while after the first two years there's a complex exam to allow you to continue and uh, what I find important is that there's a high flexibility of, about the relation between artistic production and the text production within the projects. So the various fields of the possible doctorates, as you can see from the different artistic and applied arts approaches, also create the need to have a broad approach towards research methodologies in the context of the arts. The second doctoral school in our alliance only started last year in Riga. It is a joint doctoral program of the Latvian Academy of Fine Arts with the Academy of Music in Riga and the Latvian Academy of Culture. It offers weekly intense interdisciplinary and joint theoretical training programs. And um, this happens also in the field of fine arts design, intermedia, music, film and literature. With a degree of a PhD degree, which is not yet conformed after a six semester curriculum. And the proportion between artistic practice and text should be equal. That's a difference to the program in Budapest. The various fields of possible doc doctorates also create the need to a broad approach towards research methodologies in the context of the arts. Sorry, sorry, T. Yes. May I ask you to share your presentation? Again, because we don't see it. Oh, did did you see it? Did you see? Don't didn't you see anything on? No, no we don't see anything. Just the last, uh, oh. just the last slide. Uh, is uh, the last the... part. The last part. Just the last part. Okay, just just a moment. I'm I'm very sorry. No, no, don't worry. It will it because someone else has uh, shared the screen. So you just need to share. Ah, again. okay. And from the okay. uh, Riga slide, because we have seen the, your presentation up to there. The, okay. the Riga slide, yes, exactly. one, one moment. Um, just a moment. Yes, here we are. Um, so, oops, now it just jumped, so give me a second. Yes, so... Um, Riga started last year. It's a joint doctoral program with the Academy of Fine Arts, the Academy of Music and the Academy of Culture. And they have a weekly intense theoretical training program in the field of fine arts, design, intermedium, music, film and literature with a degree PhD, which is not conformed yet, which is given usually after a six semester study time with a fixed curriculum and the proportion between artistic practice I'm and sorry, text part. Sorry to, to interrupt you. Yes? We, we, we are looking at the focus on artistic research. So this is one of the first slides. Excellent. Oh, OK, now, now we have it. No, now there okay. is not anymore. So can you go back to the last one? Yes, of course. There is probably some connection um, problem. Now I, I always have to switch through it. So, so do you see LMA now? The Doctoral School of Riga? No, we don't see, we just see you. There's, there's, you have to share again, probably the screen? Yes. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, just a moment. Um, I already shared it, but... Um, do you see the shared screen now with LMA Doctoral School? Not yet, probably. Because it tells me that it is shared. Uh, um, okay, okay, now we have well, it. What? Now we have it. Thank okay. you. Okay, fine, great. So, uh, but nevertheless, I would go to the next slide to Abaroma. I hope you see it now. Yes, is we, it okay, Abaroma? We see the, there, there is some delay, so we are looking at the uh, the Riga the Riga uh, slide. Okay, now it is. It just a little bit delayed, so okay. now we have it. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> so hopefully we can deal with that. So um, here I want to quote what my Roman colleagues told me because they know much better than I. But um, until the beginning of the EU Far Difference project, um, there was no existing th third cycle in, in fine arts in Italy. And now there are two um, new models of doctorate programs, which, like as we heard, will be um, evaluated and assessed um, in the very next time. One of them is, to quote, the first one included in the framework of the doctorates of national interest and present, presented by a consortium formed by the University of Tor Vergata, the Academy of Rome and other fine arts academies will be dedicated to cultural heritage, communication and valorization sciences. The Academy of Rome will activate two scholarships for a new media and uh, for cultural heritage curriculum. And the second one, the second PhD was presented by a consortium formed by the University of Roma 3, Abaroma, the National Academy of Dance and the Silvio D'Amico Academy of Dramatic Art and will have a single curriculum in performing arts for which the Academy of Rome will activate a scholarship. So um, art and research here are intertwining on different levels. They uh, follow scientific approaches and performative empirical production of knowledge and junior researchers are working in the project as well. Now I go to the next slide. I hope you can see it. Um, this goes to HFBK of Dresden, which in the current situation up to now had a program, a postgraduate program called Meisterschüler, Master Scholar Studies in Fine Arts and Stage Design, which and it does not have a legal framework for PhDs at the moment. This is also a political level that has to be worked on. The Master Schüler program um, brings together five semesters of artistic practice supervised by an artistic professor in a very free structure with a Master Schüler exam and degree without a joint curriculum. So it's really focusing on single artistic positions and um, Apart from that, we have a postgraduate and doctoral studies program in art therapy in Dresden. But what we want to bring is a pilot phase of the lab from October, which offers a two semester cur curriculum on artistic research, including its methodology, methodologies and research skills, writing skills and curating, just to enable students to approach their work and um, their activity in the public field in a different way. We have been students in the group with small scholarships. They come from different fields of fine arts and art therapy, and we are going to build a basis for a program to be, to be implemented in future from all this. Right now, I just want to show you, just give you an impression about the network which the project has created during the last one and a half years. So you can see um, there is a quite complex and numerous um, network of protagonists from the fine arts field, from the art history field and from the society field. And this allows us to also hopefully do a really complex and good job. Um, just a short hop to our research and innovation agenda just to make a little bit more clear how tricky sometimes it can be to work on that from the position of fine arts academies. Of course, we focus on high quality artistic practice and research. And of course, we all focus on the third cycle. Um, internationalization is a very important point to us as well as inclusivity and um, working in an adequate way with the employees and focusing on staff aspects and last not least of course follow the third mission which allows us to approach society as a broad context but of course there are also some difficulties because R&I is traditionally not a main task in artistic education so um, the frameworks we come from originally are not the frameworks scientific universities have established during the last um, decades uh, that makes it not so easy 
to be um, uh, to to be active in the way we um, we try to. But well, we are all learning quite a lot in that project, and um, of course, also the system of education and the acad academic careers um, are really different in fine arts from scientific um, careers. So we also have to deal with different concepts and models of um, career perspectives. Last not least of, least, of course, also research ethics and integrity are an important point, uh, which if you come from the concept of artistic freedom, of course, pose other questions than in, in sciences, probably. Um, I would like to end just highlighting some important things we managed to realize during the last 18 months. Um, for each work package, just two examples. Um, the management work package did a project management manual and developed structures for sharing all the material knowledge and um, skills that we bring into the group. Um, we participate regularly in East European Committee working groups on R&I, on quality assessment, and we develop joint approaches with other European universities' alliances. In terms of the artistic research labs, we um, had a joint research on third cycle artistic research models in Europe, which is extremely helpful and much more elaborate than any database existing up to now. We have developed new lab structures and for the work package three for the outreach, there might be mentioned one uh, cooperation with architecture, the architecture faculty in Dresden to work together with artists and architects and also a symposium and conference on artistic research, just which just happened recently 10 days ago. Finally, uh, our colleagues from Rome developed the didactical tool COBI, which I find really fascinating. And we are very much looking forward to the summer school near Rome in September of this year. While uh, the work package five has been uh, able to realize our project website some time ago and the really important project portal on the research catalog, which makes our um, research output visible to the broader community, also through press conferences. And I think I'm already very much over time, but thank you very much for your interest. And yes, I would like to stop here and stop my screen sharing. <laughs>